Hello, it's a rather frosty start to MB12 2022. Saturday the 19th of November, it's about 4.30 and there is a clear sky. I don't know if you can see Orion, but it's there. Anyway, back to Monmouth, an overnighter, a comparison, eggs willing, between a Weatherspoons full English and a Premier Inn full English. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm doing, amongst other things. See you, Monmouth. Frost willing. So, Premier Inn Monmouth, the tunnels are just over there. It is frosty here, and um, well, here I am. Yeah. Car park, pretty full. Anyway, so I need to go over that way, head for spoons. Spoons. And that's the hotel bit. Post luxury festive mince pie. Full English, in operation, and toast, and lots of coffee, going well. Unfortunately, the below zero from Oakham is finished, they drank it all. Um, so this is Dasha the Flasher, yeah, uh, from Milestone Brewing, 4.5% alcohol by volume. And in the good old days, the pump clip would have had a flashing lead in it. An animal. Anyway, it came with a huge head. <laughs> um, it looks nice and dark and creamy. And the sun is in my eyes. Mm. Big, malty, creamy base. Gentle, fruity, bit of finish. B plus. Yeah, be plus. Um, I don't want to say session ale, but festive session ale. So, goes back to the bar. Two pumps of below zero are on. It's a bit of a swizz because only one of them has got a cask underneath it, but it makes it look like they got full, um, full set of pumps. Anyway. Call it one tap, this should be clear. Um, it's not. Um, may need to have settled a little bit more or they've changed the recipe, I don't know. I've tried it, it's fine. Um, so this is below zero, oak male is 4.1%. It says um, piney and grapefruity. It is piney and grapefruity. And I like that sort of thing. And it's cold. Yeah, I'm going to give it B plus and a little bit, no, and a bit, because I'm getting the grapefruit and the pine and the bitter on the finish and it's nice. I could stay here all day the way things are going. We were here this time last week thinking it, it was a must win, there's always a must win being banned around. Losing the All Blacks and a high number Yeah, they were the so the below zero, half a ton of sediment in the bottom. Momentum. So not naturally hazy. Anyway, this is naturally out of the can from Purple Moose, and of my dog. It's a B plus plus. There seems to be some sort of rugby thing on and I'm apathetic about moving. It's a quality being or being lazy. And I am being lazy. Both magic, very good. Swansea, well, let's see. Cold. Actually, 
actually, that's a bit spicy. There's grapefruit, there's pine. It tastes slightly dry. Yeah. And it's a grapefruity bitter finish. It's B++. Oh, I hate to say that, but it is. Staying in spoons, watching the rugby, listening to Windows Weekly, missing Mary Jo. Who knew? 